Hey everyone, today we went to Dollar Tree and we did some pre-Christmas shopping. When I say pre-Christmas, like it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but there was a couple pieces that we just wanted to go and look at and we were just kind of having a fun day out of the house doing some shopping while we could. So we went ahead and just picked up some Christmas things while we were there. Let me turn around and show you the couple things that we picked out today. I'm going to start with the only non-Christmas thing that I have and we needed to replace some nail brushes. We're probably going to replace toothbrushes at the end of the month, but for now, I was working on, I was cleaning the bathroom the day and noticed that the, we keep one in the sink and one in the tub. So the one at the sink needed replaced. So I decided to just go ahead and replace both. But from there, actually I could probably just sit there. From there, let's move on to the holiday things. My youngest and I are loving these antique looking trucks with the Christmas tree in the back. It's a really popular thing that we've seen. I don't know if it's just been this year. But we've just noticed it more this year. And she and I both love anything with that print on it. Just the vintage look and the thought of, you know, going and getting a Christmas tree and bringing it home. And we just love it. So these are the Christmas cards we picked out. And I think there's only 12 in here. But we don't send a ton of Christmas cards out each year. And we still have some to finish off. So even if we need more, like there were only 12 for a dollar. So we may go back and pick more up. But I was really, really happy with being able to find this print in a Christmas card. Here are the paper goods that we found. Kind of run out of room to stretch my blanket. It's easier for me to show with the blanket on the bed than it is with it not. And I'm going to stand back and zoom a little bit so that you don't have a ton of the shadowing while I'm pointing. This is a pack of napkins. And again, it has a truck on it. I just now noticed that it has the truck on it. That's awesome. I actually bought it because it's a snowman and matched this pack of snow, snowman plates. We don't host usually. We don't host at Christmas. Usually we go to other people's houses at Christmas. And then we also have... Um, we designate time at home just our family at Christmas. This just kind of always been kind of a thing is we like having that time for our kids to open presents at home. So we have at home time and during that at home time, usually we do like finger foods or like ham with some easy sides and things. So I always like having paper goods because then nobody has to worry about running the dishwasher, hand washing anything that can't go in the dishwasher, any of that over the Christmas holidays. So I like having the paper plates. And I love the snowman because like it's the kids all love the snowman as well. But I also personally really love the look of poinsettias. So I figured we could actually kind of mix the two and maybe use one for like a Christmas Eve, one for a Christmas day. And Matt and I both are taking vacation time for the week between Christmas and New Year's. So it's kind of like it's going to be time where we're going to be home and just have some time at home with our family together. And I wanted to have paper goods for that. So that's why we picked out two separate of them. I may have more that I've purchased and just can't remember right now. But this is kind of basically just what we're starting with. I am also, let me zoom out now, <laughs> sorry. I have wanted to do something for years and I'm just, I'm going to do it. I've always wanted to put out like a little Christmas village. And I've always thought, you know, it's super expensive or I've just made one excuse after another or like, or used to, it was like, well, the kids are too young to have like really expensive Christmas village pieces out for them to, you know, accidentally break or anything. And I never wanted to have anything in my house that my kids would be afraid of breaking. My heater just kicked on. So you might hear a, a low hum in the background, but now I'm okay with it. And we have a skating rink, like a little village skate or not little. We have a very decent sized village skating rink that we put on our fireplace every year anyways. The fireplace doesn't work, it's more for decor. So I thought this year, change things up for decorating and for just because I really wanted, it's something I really wanna do, like a just for me thing, we're gonna put a Christmas village out with the skating rink. And I found that they had like these little glitter drapes that you're supposed to put under Christmas villages. I know they have some at Walmart. I wanna try these first because they're from Dollar Tree. If they get stained or messed up, it's not a huge cost to replace them. Also, I bought two in case they're super, super thin. That way I can layer them. Speaking of which, this is the first year I've noticed that Dollar Tree has had small little houses that you can put on there. This one is a little candy shop. I let each of the kids pick one and then I picked one as well. This one is a little candy shop and they are meant to have tea candles, but Dollar Tree didn't have the battery tea candles. So next time I go to Walmart, I'm probably going to pick, I'm probably going to pick up a pack of battery powered tea candles so that I can put them in here because you can see there's a sign right here, um, taping it off where they weren't included, but that's okay. Again, they're a dollar and these are really nice for a dollar. So there's the candy shop. This was my pick and my favorite. I love Victorian Christmas looking Victorian houses 
at Christmas time. One of the girls picked the Toy Village, probably my youngest, I think. And my middle one picked this one. This one did come with it. Yes, the lighting on my camera did adjust. Good. Look, you can see it's real glittery. It's see-through. So I just thought that would be super pretty to go with our skating rink. And it's just a little glittery. I love that the lighting adjusted. My camera doesn't always do that. But it's a little chapel, and I love that. Also on our skating rink, some of the pieces because the skating rink is old, it was hand me or it was a um, it was handed down to me um, from my grandmother, and some of the pieces are getting a little worn out. They're carrying like little miniature pieces to just kind of fit in with it. You can also buy some at Walmart, but like they didn't have anything like this sold by itself. They mostly had like the really big trees. And I like that they had these. So also again, to go with the theme of it, this is a flannel back tablecloth. And then this one is just a regular plastic tablecloth. I like having tablecloths at the holidays because then these are usually super easy to just wipe down and move on. And it also like gives a little bit of change in the dining room. So one of these is probably gonna go on my dining room table and one of these is going to go on our coffee table. Um, or I also have a white tablecloth that I sometimes put on the coffee table because it just makes it, I can have some decor on it. And the coffee table is glass, the dining room table is not. But I may, I don't know, I may put that on the dining room table and put something else on the coffee table instead. But I wanted to have some tablecloths, number one, to make it look nicer, change up, like I said, change of view. And number two, easy cleaning. This is something I did not notice last year either. These are, they're under a yard. They're not even a yard. While you look at those, I will look at this. It's 20 by 21 inches. Or for those of you outside the U.S., it's 50.80 centimeters by 53.34 centimeters. Um, but it's just small scrap pieces of fabric that my oldest thought would work really well to make like some doll things, doll clothes, or just like some little hand-sewn items to use. Lastly, last year you saw we bought these spoons for our drink station. You, you could buy them. They came in a six-pack, but they were individually wrapped and worked great for like stirring hot chocolate in the colder months just because, it, you know, my kids love candy canes with the hot chocolate. It's just something fun. They're apparently not going to carry them in candy cane this year. That's okay, though, because they have the chocolate ones. And this will give them, like, my girls were like, well, it's just a little bit of extra chocolate with it. Um, it says also you can mix it just straight in warm milk if you don't have hot chocolate and you could also mix it in coffee. I just saw this when I was looking at the information though. There's a to and from on here. So like you can hand these out as gifts as well. So that is it for our Dollar Tree Christmas haul for this week. We'll probably have some more coming up, but that's okay. But that is it also for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out all of our other videos that we'll have on our Christmas 2021 playlist and we'll see you next time.